What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Kodi JSON RPC API. So that is a remote procedure call. It lets you do all kinds of really neat stuff with Kodi remotely so that you don't have to be sitting at the machine. So we're going to walk through a couple of those things, and I'll show you how you can use this practically in your media centers. So here we're at my media center in the living room. And what I'm going to show you here is there's an iPhone app called uh, Kodi Remote, which is a really handy tool that you can use to control your Kodi from anywhere. Uh, maybe you don't want to buy a standalone Microsoft remote or something. This can act as your remote control and it can do a lot of other stuff too. This particular app actually uses this JSON RPC API to do everything that it's doing here that you're watching on screen. So here I'm interacting with the media center directly from the iPad, no remote required. And here we're just gonna go really quickly to movies and we'll just pick something at random. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit the play and then the play on the dialogue prompt and we see that the movie comes up. So this is all happening with the RPC API that you, you can use and anybody can use. You can actually do this from a web browser. You can do this from any device that can issue HTTP requests, which is really interesting. So here we're just going to go to TV shows real quick, and we'll just pick a show at random. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit play, and the show will start playing. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, if you didn't know that there was a remote app for iOS, you do now. So you can use that and you can control all your media centers from your iPhone or iPad or iDevice or whatever you've got there or even a web browser. So in order for this to work, though, you do have to go into the settings and go to services. You've got to go to web server and pick a port and set a username and password. And you've got to go to remote control and flip these two toggles to allow remote control of Kodi through various programs. All right, so we're going to go to Visual Studio real quick. And uh, you know from my previous video that I've been working on this Torrent Ninja program, so I'm actually going to kind of demonstrate how this RPC works here. Uh, so I'm going to run a unit test. And then what we should see happen is in the upper right hand corner of Kodi, we should see a dialog message that our program is sending to Kodi. So we're going to go ahead and run this unit test. And there we go. Torrent Ninja started downloading and, and what it started downloading. So you can actually use this for all kinds of things. The API is pretty advanced. Uh, let me show you in a web browser. Uh, here we're in a web browser, and I've taken this notepad here and uh, just typed in the procedure I want to run. In this case, I just want to execute the GUI show notification function with this parameter set, which is basically the title of the message and the message I want to send. I'm just going to copy this here, and then I just paste this into the browser. And again, we're going to go to Kodi here to make sure we can see this. So we're just going to click enter, and there you go. So here's our message, Torrent Ninja download started. So uh, there's a wide array of capabilities that is available to you. If you run along to the uh, JSON RPC API, then we'll see a huge breakdown of all these functions you can do. You can update your libraries. You can uh, delete stuff, add stuff, clean stuff. Uh, you can get information about the library. You can set switches and toggles and do all kinds of great stuff. So very interesting. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.